architects are dealing with shapes and spaces and light, and they dream in 3D. And then you need to translate this design into a set of 2D documents. HoloLens presents a completely new paradigm. Trimble provides design solutions for architects and structural engineers. Anything that involves getting dirty is our business. Literally hundreds of enterprises can be represented on a job site. Today, the best way those companies have to interact with each other is uh, paper, paper drawings. But people aren't good at visualizing 3D. Microsoft HoloLens is a head-mounted, self-contained computer that lets you see holograms in the real world. You get the physical model as a, as a focus point for the team to collaborate around. And you get the hologram with the flexibility, with the ability to run quick iterations. You'll see how we've brought in the courtyard that you suggested. You see that mouse go off the screen and into holographic space, and you're then interacting with the hologram with the mouse. The thing that we can do for architects is really give them much higher confidence around decision making. One way we can do that is we can allow them to literally immerse themselves in the scene that they're building and see street side, how the building's going to look. Visualizing design data in the context of the real environment is a much better way to make sure that the design is implemented correctly on site. Microsoft HoloLens allows you to collaborate with somebody regardless of distance like they were there. Hello there. Hey Igor, where they're trying to put this door, there's a beam behind here. I'm looking at this beam, we're interacting with it about a problem that we can see and being able to solve that problem with all the data that we need in front of us in real time. When I'm talking about enterprise construction, I always compare it to people trying to make music together. Each one of them is contributing to the harmony, but they all should be completely sync. My gray hair says I've been doing this for a while. I've seen a lot of these uh, new things come and go. And I expect in five years, we'll all be interacting with the world with this kind of technology.